Green County is one step closer to realizing the dream of its longtime sheriff. State and local leaders coming together to break ground on a new correctional facility, something the late Gene Fisher had pushed for during his career. Two News reporter Leah Seabrooks is asking questions about when the new facility will open and what it will feature. Mental health for officers and inmates is the priority at this new correctional facility. It will also pay tribute to the late Greene County Sheriff Gene Fisher. The new facility will be called the Greene County Gene Fisher Correctional Center in honor of the former sheriff who died suddenly in November of 2021. Current Greene County Sheriff Scott Anger says he worked with Sheriff Fisher for 37 years. Anger says that he knows the former sheriff will be pleased with the new facility. I know that all he wanted was what was best for the community. All he ever wanted was what was best for police officers. After two failed levies, the county went another way, borrowing money and relying on state grants to fund the new adult detention center. Originally estimated to cost $100 million, county leaders say it will come in closer to $76 million to complete. In 1989, Greene County Judge Walter Rice made a consent decree for overcrowding in the jail, ordering jail officials to alleviate those conditions. This building over here to the left is 23 years old that we're going to use as part of this project was a Band-Aid for that in 1989. So if that tells you how badly these facilities were needed. But after building the county's adult detention center in 2000, Overcrowding was still an issue, with the county occasionally releasing sentenced individuals until space is available. Now Sheriff Anger says that won't be necessary. The county is also investing in better medical staffing to cut down on medical transports and the chance of inmates escaping. There will also be programs to help inmates focus on rehabilitation after crisis. So what we want to do is we want to you know, utilize their time in jail the best we can, and we want, to, we want to give every possible access they have to outside services when they leave our jail. The new facility is expected to hold nearly the same amount of people as the county's downtown facility and the current adult detention center combined, housing nearly 500 inmates at any given time. The project has already received $15 million in funding from the state. Construction is expected to take two years. In Greene County, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News. U.S. forces conducted